Good morning. It's kind of dumb. I'm dropping everything already this morning. It's like I hurt, <laughs> so I can't grip things as well. And then I drop the things, and then I hurt worse because I have to pick up the things. It's been a rough morning. Luca has been fussy. I think his Zantac needs to be upped again because he gains weight so fast. He's already projectile vomited over his all over his sleep sack this morning before we even came downstairs. His pajamas that he was wearing and one shirt. So I just changed him again. So hopefully, oh, and he spit up. I actually had a burp cloth one time where he spit up. So I called him and I was like, I think he needs an increase because this is crazy and he's been fussy the last couple days with just like, he doesn't want to be laid down. He needs to be upright and that's pretty much the only way he's happy. He hasn't been napping during the day. And he's been a little bit like waking up more at nighttime than he was before. Um, so hopefully it will get increased and I'll start. He's talking. He'll start feeling better. Um, I have a home visit for Lily's preschool today. They do one once a month, which I think is overkill, honestly. But I think they do it just to see if the kids are in a safe environment. Which like, okay, fine. But it's just annoying to have it once a month for no reason. Um, so I'm trying to get them to clean up toys and I'm trying to do laundry and I just don't feel very well myself. I haven't even ate today because Luca won't let me. This is my life today. The doctor hasn't called me back yet, but he's like super fussy. Like super super fussy. I haven't been able to film much today because they are not listening at all. I mean, they're just eating all day. I eventually put him in the car seats and just drove around because they won't let Luca sleep at all. So he's just crying and crying and crying. Plus his reflux, his medicine like needs increased. They increased it. No, but they just won't. But I had to start a school whatever visit today, and I have like barely been able to clean anything. So my house is gonna look absolutely awful when she comes here. And. Nick is working late. Mommy, Rita took my bullet. It's been all day. Are you talking? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hey! Rhea! Okay, so I am recording while I'm driving, but you notice I'm not looking at the camera because I'm looking at the road. You guys are by the stairs up. By the speedometer or whatever. So it's the next day and I decided that I was gonna take Leah to the doctor. Yesterday I called him. Um, because she's been potty trained for a little bit and like she does have accidents here and there but hold on Lily I can't do that right now I'm driving but the last um, few days it's been like every 10 minutes she like pees her pants and I mean like pees her pants like a lot um, so I just want to get her checked out and then also I'm taking Luca because Luca has a runny nose and hold on Lily or I'm driving I can't do that try to open it with your mouth Try to open it with your mouth. But Luca has a 99.6 temperature, a runny nose, and coughing and sneezing. So I'm going to go ahead and get him checked out. And I'm supposed to have physical therapy today. So, go. That's what we're doing today. Lily's already been in the pee once. Leah came in and peed once. Now she's a chest to get up her pee. And they're both being really bad. 
We're back home now, and Lily, I mean Leah, Leah would not pee. She wouldn't pee. She would not pee. She wouldn't pee. So, they sent us home with a cup to try to have her pee, and I'll drop it off tomorrow, because I have to take my grandma to my uncle's anyway, so I'm going to be going kind of that way. And Luca has a cold with a slight touch of bronchiolitis, so, yeah, hopefully. He doesn't get that bad. Now that he's bigger, hopefully he doesn't end up in the hospital again. And we're just waiting for Nick to get home and take a shower because after that, we have to go to my physical therapy. We're at therapy and I have to take Luca in with me because he won't take a bottle and he's freaking out. I just fed him oh, I didn't get called back now. I'm not allowed, but I'll update you when I'm done. I'll be done soon. So, um, we left, and I was gonna turn the camera on, and I was telling Nick what the, um, happened in physical therapy, but I forgot. And now we had to stop because we're going to eat. Hold on. So, my right arm, I had a dislocation, um, not that long ago, um, and after that, like, my shoulder blade, so, like, on my back, my shoulder blade has been hurting pretty bad so when she was taking my measurements today she said that my right arm is pretty loose um like told me not to lift anything heavy with that arm um she said we're just gonna do therapy and see um she wants me actually she's gonna see maybe about doing dry needling and see if that helps i've never done it um so if anybody's had an experience with that um like message me or like go to my if you can comment on these, comment on my on my videos or like comment on my Instagram and let me know. Message me on my Instagram and let me know if you liked it. Um, so besides that, like my neck is still pretty tight, but it's evenly tight on both sides. Not one one isn't worse than the other. Um, and my legs seem okay. My right hamstring is kind of tight, but not anything like major. Um, so yeah, just my right shoulder is kind of not looking good i had a surgery in 2008 on it and 2014 so i don't know well, i get back in two weeks ew get away be careful we've been cleaning since well we went to family fun night for lily school um but we um have been cleaning because the appraisal for our new house is getting done and for the loan that we're using um we have to do an appraisal of our house now too tomorrow and i'm gonna be taking my grandma to see my uncle bubby again um so see my uncle that's on hospice we're going to bed now and i'm actually remembering to end the vlog so thanks again thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe